From the Appalachian Regional Healthcare Weather Center, here's your first warning weather forecast. All right, let's get back to Nicholas to help you prepare for your Wednesday ahead. And Nicholas, even just this morning, I was trying to take the dog out for a little walk. Yeah. You know, and it felt like I'm doing, yeah, I'm just <laughs> gusty breezes. But I know you said that we've kind of backed off that alert day, which is yeah, good news for yeah, us. Yeah, we've uh, it's not going to be as strong. We've really tapered those winds down mm -hmm. uh, throughout the rest of the afternoon. And that's going to continue to be the case as the system just pushes away. All those winds we saw last night, earlier on this morning going away and it's setting up shop for a much better afternoon for most of us still up in Nicholas County. For instance, we're still seeing a few flurries and yes, of course, we are dealing with a little bit of that wind continuing. Luckily, that will continue to really fade away as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon and we should start to see much calmer conditions move in, especially as we head into the overnight and into your day tomorrow. Radar picture showing it. Notice all the uh, precipitation we saw this morning just fading away into isolated snow showers and snow flurries here or there. So that's a signification of the system kind of pushing out and some calmer weather, at least some briefly calmer weather moving on into the overall area. Temperatures right now well into the 30s. Unfortunately, it's not really going to get all that much warmer for the rest of the day. We're looking at temperatures staying in the middle and upper 30s, maybe a few lower 40s here or there for the afternoon. But that'll be about it. We're at 35 in Portsmouth, 36 in Athens, 39 in Ripley and 33 over in Pikeville with those cloudy skies not a whole lot of sunshine and just colder air funneling in behind the system. Yeah, we're just not expecting to see those temperatures get all that much warmer for the rest of your day. This precipitation continues to really die out in coverage and intensity. And by the overnight hours, we're looking at some clear conditions and even a few peaks of clear skies working on in by tomorrow. We're starting to see that sunshine peek through the overcast. Actually going to be a very beautiful day tomorrow. And uh, with the sunshine, we're going to be seeing much warmer temperatures too. Back into the 40s and dare I say maybe even a few 50s here or there around the viewing area. So certainly tomorrow looking pretty, pretty nice. But that's the calm before another storm moving in for Thursday into Friday. And especially Friday into Saturday where our next alert day is going to be in case. Especially Friday night into Saturday morning. That's when we're talking about the majority of those impacts from that next alert day. And it's a very similar system to what we saw these past couple of days. Gusty winds up to 30 to 40 miles an hour uh, for everyone pretty much. And we start similar to the last system as well, where the majority of those winds high up and then it kind of filters on down as we go further and further into time once cold air starts to funnel in with that system. And of course, it's going to be a very steady rain, but not too heavy rain. So not expecting any flooding or major snow accumulations out of this next weather maker coming in for the weekend, but it's certainly going to be impactful in that wind department. So Saturday is the majority of those winds that will be coming on through. Again, wind gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour. By Sunday, that clears out, but I want you to notice that temperature drop going from 50 32 on Friday to 33 on Saturday. That is a big shock to the system indeed. And we continue into the 30s well into next week as well. Look at Tuesday's high 24. With that, we're also going to be seeing some snow all snow for the entire area for the first time in a while. So uh, yeah, we've got some uh, interesting winter like weather finally moving in. I know last winter we had basically no winter mm -mm. with the exception of before Christmas. And then this year it is coming in uh, right now and it looks like it's going to linger on for a bit too. Yeah, and that's some bitter cold that's mm -hmm. moving in too. Yeah. yeah. Nicholas, thank you.